This is an in the lab silent basketball and we're gonna be testing it out for the next seven days. A lot of influencers claim that a silent basketball is a must have for hoopers. But we're gonna test that theory out, starting with a baseline to see what my handle is like with a regular basketball. By the end of the week, we're gonna find out if my handle's gotten better or worse after using this ball. I will be doing five different drills with a regular basketball. Crossovers between the legs, behind the back, combo moves, and a weak hand drill. Each drill will be completed in 30 seconds, and by the end of the seven days, I will need to have a better score than the first day to consider this test a pass. Here we go. We're gonna do between the legs. Losing it, losing it a lot in that. Behind the backs. Score so far, crossovers 85, between the legs 36 and behind the back 63. We got double moves. I also want to put my off hand in a couple of challenges because I feel like my left hand has been lacking in some of my videos lately. Bruh. Dang, I'm only getting two circles. Two circles. That's three times in a row I've only gotten two circles fully around my leg completed. Scores for the combo moves was 10 and two for the weekend. Let's get training. It's probably harder to dribble this ball and do moves than it is with a regular ball. So if we can handle this ball, we should be able to handle a regular ball. Quick change of pace, I'm slow. Oh, oh, I'm gone, I'm out of there. It's collecting lint off my ground. Oh. Oh. I'm tired, that's the end of day one. Thank you to YesSoul for sponsoring today's video. YesSoul Fitness has the best Peloton alternative and it's called the G1M Plus. If you're like me and get tired of the same aerobic workouts, this YesSoul bike is the way to go. I've had left knee ACL surgery and sometimes sprinting on a treadmill, jogging outside, you know, it becomes hard for my knee. I needed something new to help me get my exercise and my workouts in. This bike has been a savior for me. With the YesSoul app, staying in shape is super easy and I can do it in just 20 minutes a day. I love how fun it makes working out feel with high tempo music and a super energetic trainer leading the way. And if you don't want to use the YesSoul app, you can also screencast, allowing you to watch your favorite Netflix shows and YouTube videos. YesSoul has a huge 360 degree 1080 rotating screen and a four speaker, two subwoofers, 360 sound quality. This is immersing you into the workout or entertainment of your choice. Thank you, Yes Soul, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. Let's get back to the video. The sound difference between a regular basketball and the silent basketball is clear as day, especially on hardwood floor. For the next couple days that I'll be training with the silent basketball, I'm gonna be skipping around and not showing you every single workout session, but each workout session was 20 minutes long and I worked super hard going full speed and you know, trying my best to get better at my handle. And while I'm showing a lot of my clips from my workouts, I wanted to mention that using the silent basketball is a lot different from using a regular basketball. One, the weight is not the same. You have to push the ball harder into the ground for the ball to bounce up like a regular basketball would. Now, do I think this does help your handle? 
I'm not completely sure. We're gonna have to see at the end of this video, but it is an interesting concept and it is silent compared to a regular basketball. If you do decide to get a silent basketball, I would recommend doing workouts that you would normally do with a regular basketball. Don't switch up, don't go light, go as hard as you possibly can and work hard. Let's go. Getting that handle tight. Hey, as soon as I start talking, I'll be losing the ball. This basketball also comes in different sizes. For obvious reasons, if you're a male, you use a male sized basketball, and if you're a female, you would use the smaller basketball. Oh. I'm feeling confident. It's time for the baseline. Let's hit the garage. I'm excited to see if we've progressed in these past seven days using Asylum Basketball. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did the first day before I started training in these seven days. So let's go. 30 second timer on the clock. Oh my gosh! Now we have between the legs. 30 seconds. Make it tight, make it right. Oh! I think I for sure did better, even though I messed up twice. I think I did better. Now we have behind the back. No! No! <laughs> After the first three drills, I'm already seeing progress. Next thing I did was combo moves, and you guys are gonna determine if it's better than day one. So let's go. Handle definitely feels tighter to me. I felt in more control, I felt more decisive, I felt more comfortable. I'm a little bit tired, but I feel like I got more combo moves in than day one. So that's good. Last thing we're gonna do is weak hand. Opposite hand, the weak hand is my left hand. This is a low dribble and we're coming through here and we're catching. <laughs> We've done it. We've done it, guys. <laughs> We've done it. This silent ball actually worked. I wasn't sure how good it would actually do if you were training and building up to being a better basketball player. However, this is the proof. I did seven days of training my handle with a silent basketball, and from day one to day seven, it has 100% changed my handle. So imagine if I did it for a month, for six months, a year. If you guys want more videos just like this, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much. We're progressing. Thank you so much for 80,000 subscribers. Love you, fam. Peace. Hello. You see me